You're watching the Southern California Toyota Dealers Sports Zone from ABC7. And welcome back, everybody. All season long, we have honored our NFL High School Football Coach of the Week. And here on the final sports zone of this college football season, it is our pleasure to introduce Coach Harry Welch of Santa Margarita Catholic High School is our NFL High School Football Coach of the Year. Congratulations, Coach. Bob, thank you very, Absolutely. very much. Thank you. I'm honored. Great thank job, you. and the season is still going. We're going to talk about that in just a bit. You become the 16th NFL High School Football Coach of the Year, and uh, this year, of course, you will receive another cap, another thank plaque you. for the Coach of the Year, and another grant of $1,000 to your school from the NFL. Now, Coach was chosen on a combination of things. Now, a lot of people are wondering. It's right performance on the field what he does off the field to influence the kids to do their work in the community and we received over 160 emails in support of coach Welch and uh, that is fourth all time as we have done the NFL high school football coach of the year um, so how does that make you feel with all that support I, I'm so honored I have been blessed from Canyon High School where I was able to teach and coach for many many years mm -hmm. and then I went down to this wonderful community in San Juan Capistrano at St. Margaret's Episcopal School mm -hmm. and uh, had a wonderful time there and then as if uh, the heavens opened and uh, towards the end of my career uh, I matriculated to Santa Margarita Catholic High School and mm -hmm. it has been wonderful the staff the community has uh, bonded together supported me to supported the young men and women, mm -hmm. and we're excited, and it's a great school, it's a great place. Um, the entire community has uh, made it very easy for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a wonderful experience, and I've got some outstanding assistant coaches and players that I truly love. They're mm -hmm. outstanding, and they work so very, very hard, they believe, but they're good young men. You worked hard last night. Let's take you back to the action. The CIF Pac-5 semifinal game. Coach Welch and Santa Margarita won a nail-biter against last year's NFL High School Football Coach of the Year from ABC7, Bob Johnson and Mission Viejo. 21-20 in the final minute of the game. How nerve-wracking was that finish, Coach? Oh, we had it in the bag the whole way. No problem. <laughs> no, it, was a, it was a great game. Two very, very good schools going toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. Uh, Bob Johnson uh, is a wonderful coach. Uh, both communities got uh, their money's worth. A wonderful, wonderful evening. There were no losers that night at all. And we were very, very honored to uh, come up with one more point. Uh, the players on my team were, uh, they, they stuck together, but so did the Diablos from Mission Viejo. It was truly a, a wonderful night for high school sports and we're honored to have advanced to the CIF championship game against an outstanding San Clemente team mm -hmm. next Saturday night at uh, Anaheim Stadium. That's right and uh, guys you yeah. have something to ask coach? Yeah coach you've been coaching high school sports for a long long time and, and it certainly is different than when Mike and I were in high school. How have you dealt with the challenges and the differences as the years have gone on with the kids that have come through? We, you know, we live in a social media world and all those things, trying to keep their character, character in, intact. Well, um, the young men are close to being the same. The parents seem to be changing more than anything. <laughs> um, but seriously, the men today work as hard or harder than they ever have. Um, they are as committed, um, they're as focused, and I have found that uh, young men want structure. They want mm -hmm. discipline. They want direction. And then they want to be set free for greatness. And that's always been true. It was true 20, 30 years ago. It's true today. Um, there's, there's great hope for the young men and the young women in America today. And we can see it in some of the great high schools today. And I'm proud to represent one of them. And Coach, uh, you know, being around a bunch of young men, how do you embrace being a mentor to these men? And do you talk to the kids that have graduated that, you know, ask for your advice when they're going through challenges in life? I am so honored that the young men and women who have uh, come through my program as players or managers or in the classroom have come back. And while they're going through the process, I'm not sure it's always a uh, uh, fun, a pleasant experience, <laughs> but after the fact, they, they do come back, they return. There were literally generations of people last night at our game who came back and uh, loved the experience and uh, showed their children and their friends and their families and their wives. It's, it's wonderful. It's, uh, 
as I say, there's hope. It's a bright spot. It's good. Great, <laughs> great. Well, Coach That's is great. very humble. I know he doesn't want to brag, but I will for him. Uh, he is the only California State coach to win state championships at two different schools. He can do it for a third time. Wow. All right, congratulations, Coach, and uh, good luck next week.